Come, let us sing unto our God, the rock of our salvation. Praise and thanks we bring before our songs of joy we sing you. Our God is great above all gods, the ruler of creation. In your hands are all the earth and seas, for you have made them. Now come and worship and bow down and kneel before our Maker, for you're our God and we're your flock, the people of your pasture. All praise to you, eternal God, and Jesus Christ, our Savior, Holy Spirit, three in one, our light and our salvation. Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Sunday, January the 13th. And the scripture for this service, Psalms 146 and 147, and Isaiah chapter 40, verse 1 to 11. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, praise God, O oh my soul. While I live, I will praise you. Hallelujah. Psalms 146 and 147. Hallelujah, praise God, O my soul. While I live, I will praise you. I will sing praises to you while I have any being. Put not your trust in rulers, nor in the children of the earth, in whom there is no help. They die and return to the earth. In that very day, their thoughts perish. Happy they that have the God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel for their help, whose hope is in their God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in it, who keeps truth forever, who executes judgment for the oppressed, and who gives food to the hungry. God sets the prisoner free. God opens the eyes of the blind. God raises those that are bowed down. God loves righteousness, and God preserves strangers. God saves the orphan and the widow, but the way of the wicked God turns upside down. God shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, to all generations. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, for it is good to sing praises to our God, for it is pleasant and praise is beautiful. The Most High builds up Jerusalem and gathers together the outcasts of Israel. You, O oh God, you heal the brokenhearted and you bind their wounds. You fix the number of the stars and call each by name. You are great and powerful. Your understanding is infinite. You lift the meek and cast down the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Most High with thanksgiving. Sing praise upon the harp to our God, who covers the heavens with clouds, who prepares rain for the earth, who makes grass to grow upon the mountains. You, God, give food to the beasts and to the young ravens which cry. You delight not in the strength of the horse, nor take pleasure in the legs of a warrior. You take pleasure in them that fear you, in those that hope in your mercy. Praise the Most High, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For God strengthened the bars of your gates and blessed your children within you. God makes peace in your borders and fills you with the finest wheat. You send forth your word upon the earth and it runs swiftly. You give snow white like wool and scatter the frost like ashes. You cast forth ice like morsels. Who can stand before the cold? You send out your word and melts them and cause the wind to blow and the waters to flow. You show your word to Jacob, Leah, and Rachel, your statutes and judgments to Israel. 
you have not dealt so with any other nation. And as for your judgments, they have not known them. Praise God, Most High. Hallelujah. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God, O my soul. While I live, I will praise you. Hallelujah. The lesson is from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 40, beginning at verse 1. Comfort, O comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term, that her penalty is paid, that she has received from Yahweh's hand double for her sin. A voice cries out, in the wilderness, prepare the way of Yahweh. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted, and every mountain and hill made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. And then the glory of Yahweh shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together for the mouth of Yahweh has spoken. A voice says, cry out. And I said, what shall I cry? All people are grass. Their constancy is like the flowers of the field. The grass wither, the flower fades. When the breath of Yahweh blows upon it, surely the people are grass. The grass withers and the flower fades but the word of our God will stand forever. Go up, you high mountain, O Zion, herald of good tidings. Lift your voice with strength. O Jerusalem, herald of good tidings, lift it up and do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. See, Yahweh God comes with might, and God's arm rules for him. His reward is with him, and his recompense before him. And God will feed his flock like a shepherd, and will gather the lambs in his arms and carry them in his bosom, and gently lead the mother sheep. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for the peace from above and for the loving kindness of God and for the salvation of our souls. For peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, for the welfare of the Holy Church and for the unity of all peoples. For Tom and Alan, Ray and Richard and Don and for all our bar church leaders and for all clergy and ministers. For Barack, our president, and Joe and John, and all the leaders of our nation, and for the leaders of all the nations, and for all those who are in authority. For the good earth which God has given, and for the wisdom and the will to conserve it. For the aged and the infirm, especially Marjorie and Ronald Francis and Max Bartholomew. For the widowed and the orphaned, and for the sick and the suffering for those recovering from surgery, especially Mary Lynn. For the poor and the oppressed, for the unemployed, especially Bill and Carol, Robert and Carrie and Nancy. For the destitute, for prisoners and captives, especially Christian, and for all who remember and care for them. We remember all who died, especially Robert Patrick, Carol and Lloyd, and for all of the departed. Defend us, deliver us, and in your compassion protect us, O God, by your grace. In the communion of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and all of our lives to Christ our God. For the mercy of God community and for the sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia. That God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. 
for the intentions of all who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We praise you with all of our being, Almighty God, for you defend us and save us because you love us. May we sing to you all the days of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs>